from the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida. This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your Cruise News for Thursday, June 10th, 2021. The captain said, fill her up. The first ship in the Americas powered by liquefied natural gas has refueled for the first time at Port Canaveral. Carnival Cruise Line's Mardi Gras arrived into port last Friday and has now undergone her first refueling process in North America, which took approximately eight hours to complete. With each complete refueling, the ship has enough LNG power to power the engines for about two weeks. And the LNG not only powers the propulsion system, but also the ship's elevators, lightings, com- uh, lighting, rather computers, and more. And Disney Cruise Line has released an update for its Navigator smartphone app. The app provides new features related to health and safety protocols on board, including the ability to reserve activities ahead of time, access restaurant menus digitally, and chat with guest services via an in-app live chat. The new functionality arrives just ahead of Disney's UK staycation cruises that begin on July 15th and simulated sailings that begin at Port Canaveral that start on June 29th. And finally, in honor of World Oceans Day, Norwegian Cruise Line donated $25,000 to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation. The line also announced that the conservationists will create a custom piece that will wrap the lighthouse on the line's private island, Great Stirrup Key. The donation will benefit the foundation's scientific research and assist in the development of a curriculum for kids in grade school that introduces them to the beauty of the world's oceans. And cruise stocks were down on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation down 2%, 30.45. Royal Caribbean down 2.3%, 92.79. And Norwegian down 3.1, 32.66. Breaking news and up-to-the-minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.